All right, financial math classes. Today we're talking about closing costs for when you uh, buy a home. So uh, closing costs, what happens when you buy a home? You go into this process called escrow, um, where uh, money is set aside, you have 30 days to do your due diligence to either if you're the buyer uh, to, to make sure the house is in good order. Um, or you, or if you're the seller, if there's something that the buyers and sellers want, um, or if the, like the, the buyers want something fixed, like leaky toilets or faucets, um, they can negotiate uh, those sorts of things. So you're in this, it's usually about 30 days, you're in escrow. Um, and then when the sale is final, that's saying the sale has closed. Um, and there are costs associated with the closing of a deal like that. Um, so in the book here, it says when you purchase a home, you may have a closing. The closing is usually a meeting attended by the buyer, the seller, their lawyers, the mortgage lender, and the real estate agent. No, it is not. I have bought two homes. I have sold a home. Uh, not in any of those three transactions. I have never met the, the seller when I bought a home or the buyer when I sold a home. All right. Uh, lawyers, we didn't have lawyers involved. We had real estate agents. All right. So how this is going to go with the selling when you sign documents um, your real estate agent and like mortgage lender will be there and you're selling. It is a thick stack of paperwork. Um, it takes about 45 minutes, an hour just to go through and sign everything. Um, tons of stuff in there uh, that you're that you're uh, that you're signing. And it's all because it's it's an expensive transaction. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. But in these days, most real estate transactions, the buyers and sellers will never actually meet, all right? Um, and then, so the closing costs include a bunch of different things. Um, so let's look at an example of what some of those closing costs could be. So you're interested in purchasing a $144,000 home. <clears throat> you plan to make a 25% down payment and, and obtain an 8% mortgage for 20 years. By the way, 8% is a Terrible mortgage rate. Do not take out a mortgage for eight percent. Awful. Um, for the remaining amount through city savings and loans, complete the form below to determine the total closing costs. So, um, closing costs. So the amount of mortgage is one hundred eight thousand. That is not part of the closing costs. Everything down here is part of the closing costs. So the appraisal report. What an appraisal is is one will come in and evaluate the home to determine how much it is worth. The banks and lenders want this to happen so they know that if they're lending you money that the house is worth at least as much, if not more, than the amount they're, they're lending you. They don't want to lend you money for, you know, they want to lend you $200,000 for a house that's only worth $150,000. Right? So you have to have an appraisal to tell you how much the house is worth. Uh, the credit report, so the credit report, that is just uh, run in. The lenders have to run a credit report on you. That's paid your credit score, that sort of thing. Loan origination fee, 2% of mortgage. So this is how the, the loan, um, the lenders uh, make their money. They take a percentage of the mortgage. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So 2% of the fee, that's real easy. Make sure you change that percent to a decimal and then multiply it times the mortgage amount, 108,000. And I need a calculator for that. So 0.02 times 108,000 is equal to 2,160. This goes to um, the, the lender. Uh, recording costs, uh, surveying photos. So the recording costs, that, that's just, they're charging you for doing all the paperwork. Uh, survey and photos um, that, you know, I'm not actually entirely sure what survey and photos would be, but the title search and insurance. So that's pretty self-explanatory. You got to pay for insurance, uh, like real estate insurance and property insurance, uh, legal fees. So uh, because it is, like they said, there are lawyers, there are legal fees that you have to pay. You don't need a lawyer to buy or sell a house. You do want a real estate agent though. Um, those are different, but uh, lenders will have some legal fees and then property taxes. Um, property taxes, depending on where you live, what county uh, will be different. Uh, interest on the mortgage from the first of the month to the closing date, 2016. So you have to calculate the interest, what you ate. Oh, 
um, the interest that you owe because you're not making a payment during. So the amount of mortgage is loaned out to you on March 1st, all right? All the closing, the escrow, this all takes two weeks or 15 days, rather. So you have to pay the interest as part of the closing cost. So let's actually calculate the interest there. So the interest on that is just a simple interest formula. It's the principal times the rate times the time. And remember, for simple interest, time is in terms of years. So the rate is 108000 uh, times the rate is 0.8% and times the time uh, that is from the 1st to the 16th, that is 15 days um, divided by 365, all right? Uh, so I'm going to put in 108, 108,000 times 0 0.08 times 15 divided by 365. Remember, it's over 365 because it is in terms of year. 15 days is 15 over 365. That's the terms of the year. That all comes out to 355.07 rounded. And then everything except for the amount of mortgage, we add up all this to find the total closing costs. So 455 plus 65 plus 21, 60. Uh, plus 145.85, plus 345.60, plus 160, plus 425, plus 857.25, plus 355.07. Full closing cost comes out to 4,968 and 77 cents. Uh, and so you might be wondering who covers the closing costs. Uh, this is something that can be negotiated. Typically, it is the buyer that covers the closing cost, but it can be negotiated that the seller uh, covers a portion of it or all of it. Um, but usually, it is the buyer that covers the majority, if not all, of the closing costs. Um, and that'll do it for today. We'll talk more about uh, housing costs next time.